Hi, I'm Scott Stein, and as we continue to the ever-growing uh, flood of Windows 8 laptops, tablets, and crossover computers, as I would call them, we have the standard non-touch Toshiba Satellite U845W S430. Now, we've seen this laptop before. I reviewed this Ultrabook just a few short months ago in its Windows 7 iteration, and it's pretty much exactly the same here with the addition of Windows 8. What you get, though, is a very funky 21 by 9 ultra wide screen display. That's 1792 by 768. That's definitely not normal, although the 768 pixels uh, from top and bottom do match what you get on a regular laptop. It's a little more like a quasi 1080p display, but not exactly. What you get is that movies can play with much less letterboxing and often none at all. In fact, most movies will end up getting pillar boxed because of that ultra widescreen resolution. Now, you also get the ability to put web browsers or text side by side on that screen and be able to actually work on it in sort of a, a, a large spread environment. How does that work in Windows 8? Well, as you can see, tiles do have an interesting way of, of working quite well in that widescreen format, but it's not perfect. There's a little bit of overlap because most Windows devices are not meant to work in this resolution. You're also missing touch. There's no touch screen here. So you may want to reach up and just, and just do that, and you can't, not on this iteration at least. And that's a little bit of a disconnect, although the trackpad is large, feels comfortable, and the keyboard's good. You're get, getting a Core i5 processor in here, 6 gigs of RAM, and a hybrid hard drive, 500 gigabytes with 32 gigabytes of solid-state caching that speeds things up a little bit. All of that for a price that is a little bit confusing. On Toshiba's website, the MSRP ranges anywhere up from the 1080 down to 999 in a very similar configuration that seems exactly the same but has a slightly different name. Bottom line is it's about $1,000. Now, that's a little expensive now in the laptop landscape, especially with a touchless laptop. Uh, is it worth it to go into the widescreen? I think you're going to find more bang for the buck going with a convertible touchscreen type of a funky laptop if you want something new and futuristic. But credit to Toshiba, it's not too expensive for this, and it does give you a good Ultrabook performance under the hood. I'm Scott Stein, and that's a look at the Toshiba Satellite U845W S430.